Put the cans. <clears throat> cans. That was really funny. With this song. Welcome to the show. When just Jen sent us an Instagram ad, and it was the It was this song oh, really? in the Instagram ding, ad, and I was like, ding, ding, "Damn ding. it!" it Someone it. else is using the free. <laughs> Well, we did take a part of a song that's, like, deeper into the song, so, you yeah. know. So the chance of that hey, is pretty rare. you don't mess with Diesel. Uh, so, uh, how's everybody doing? Sorry, I was just rescuing your cat. Today is April Fool's Day. Oh, this is for Jordan. I was rescuing your cat from the worst cat. <laughs> She's just listening to this. You just, in the future. We don't just, rank our cats here. You just hear her in the shower. Now, <laughs> <laughs> I can sense somebody said something negative about my cat that should be named Blade, but it's named Severus. <laughs> if you have an all black cat, what's a better name? Nighthawk. Blade? <laughs> Nighthawk. <laughs> or uh, Severus Snape? Dude. Midnight. Midnight. You could uh, probably find some people downriver dude, with bl- some worse names for their all black cat. Black guy, catch my drift. Yeah, they go. Oh, that'd be. That's. I think that's. That's fine. Or, <laughs> damn it, <laughs> I didn't change it. Or, or, or can, they could be named. And if you watch the tape, neither of us said anything. Yeah, okay, it's a fu- it was a funny but. <laughs> okay, oh, he's, watch the tape back. He's drinking his water. Uh, big news is the fucking Nickelodeon stuff. You hear anything about that? I think the kids are lying. These innocent adults. Are, <laughs> <laughs> these innocent adult, adults yeah. in power are yeah. lying. And, uh, kids are just being shit kids. Well, they're adults now. It was so. funny. I talked to a friend, Justin, and he was like, at the movies, and he's like, I mean, nothing happened to Dan Schneider. Like... They don't have anything on him. Yeah. And, like, it does start going, look at all this fucked up shit. And then, like, he was, he was like, the main guy in power. Like, the show starts, before they even dive into, like, specifics, Mm -hmm. it shows you a montage of, like, weird things that happen on the show. Mm -hmm. And he's like, just because they had liquid shoot onto kids' faces didn't, doesn't mean it was all cum shots. Like, because, like, two of them look like something gross. Yeah, yeah. I saw a couple and of And then them. there's, like, well, they did the green slime all the time, and everyone wasn't like, oh, is that some giant's jizz? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, yeah. But it was funny, so he's like, he's like, they don't, I don't think they have yeah. anything on them. Like, none of the kids, the kids have come out and said, uh, yeah, this, guy Brian, this guy Brian, this guy Brian Peck is oh, a pedophile. Yeah. Like, like, there's several guys that have been sentenced for pedophilia acts. Yeah. And... Having like seventeen hundred images of porn, yeah, or uh, you know, child porn. You know what's really cool? Shit. Adult porn. Yeah, dude. There's have a you lot ever of seen good a stuff. nice set of tits. Yeah, kids nice. can't have tits. <laughs> nice. Or grunt. a fucking fine. If you're in the guys, nice n- fucking nice giant cock. <laughs> what five year old has a nice big cock? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Show me a Drake and Josh, ten years old, with a nice hammer. Yeah. <laughs> Also, it's like in and a nice porn. Bush. It's like you want to watch people who know how to fuck. Kids don't know how to fuck. No, but then they're like, "That's what we like." Oh, <laughs> you're disgusting. Yeah. Oh, and then I didn't realize this detail either. A friend brought up. I'm not trying to incriminate any of my friends. Yeah, they're incriminated. <laughs> What'd you say? They're incriminated. Incriminated. But somebody goes, <clears throat> uh, "They're like, well, Drake." So Drake was going over this guy's house for, like, almost a two-year span before, like, being like, okay, I'm not going there anymore. Like, like he tells a story about how he was with a, a girlfriend he had and being really weird and his phone keeps ringing and it's this, it's uh, Brian Peck, this pedophile dude. His phone's ringing a ton. Yeah, spoilers, who gives a fuck? Uh, he's getting a ton of calls and, he, and then the, his girlfriend's mom you know, because he's like 12 or whatever the fuck, 11, 10, I don't know. But girlfriend's mom's like, 
that's abnormal. No. And then yeah. it was funny. It was I was like, dude, that, that that'd be like my stepmom. She'd be like, no, fuck this. Well, guy. That should be like any any mom. Yeah, any normal adult paying attention. There's yeah. a lot of bad moms. Uh huh. You got that right. All right. So, <laughs> just, so no. you got that right. Uh, but so she was like, no, no, we're not. No, we're not answering. And then uh, I, uh, I got that part wrong. He he answered one co- phone call, and she saw the way he like talked. Yeah. Him, it was like, no I, was, I saw a clip where it was like him being interviewed or whatever, and he goes, "Yeah, my girlfriend's mom knew within seconds that yeah. something was wrong." Or he was whatever. on the phone with him, or and I go, "Jesus, yeah." So, but so earlier though, before that, so two years before that, or whatever the fuck it was, Drake Bell's dad tried to step in. But see, see, the thing is that uh, this friend of ours who I'm talking to about the show is uh, is like. Yeah, but you're the parent. You can just pull your kid out. What are you doing? Yeah. Like, so, like, he kept getting mad along the way because he's like, all these people are like, oh, I sense this horrible pedophilia, yeah. pedophilia energy from this guy. Ah, I keep my kid on the show. Yeah, because they're like, just oh, like, well, I like money. Yeah, they're like, oh, it's my kid's dream. And, like, I do get that, like, a little bit. But it's like, if some crazy, horrific asshole play stuff is going to happen to your kid. <laughs> You take your kid out of the thing. Yeah. Oh, I take my kid to gymnastics class. He loves it, but the instructor fucks him. Yeah. And it's just like, but he loves gymnastics. Or the instructors are going to fuck him. Yeah. It's like if you have that feeling that that's going to happen, take your kid out. You can't leave your kid in that. Yeah. So that's what he kept doing. I was talking to him about it, and I'm like, you know what? I wasn't bad, really bad parenting. Yeah. He was like, this all goes to bad parenting, and I'm like, that just, remind, think, that just reminded me of all the when we were watching football and all the kick returns that were bad. Oh, yeah. Bad coaching. Dude, horrible <laughs> bad coaching. How often? Yeah, they take it out. I go, oh, he's getting tackled at the 19. Yeah. Could have had it at the 25. Now bad they co- change it to the 30-yard line. Bad coaching. There's going to so, be a lot more bad coaching. If you just see your kid might be getting molested and you just don't change anything, bad parenting. Yep, bad parenting, bad coaching. I'm not a parent, years. and I can tell you that. Yeah. Look, I'm not a parent, but I can tell you this. Don't put your kid in a situation where he might get molested. <laughs> I'm just saying. PSA, guys. For future, uh, yeah, for future parents out there, Cartoon Network. If your kid's gonna be on Nickelodeon, Disney, and you think, oh wait, this guy's weird and might rape him, he's, oh my god, dude, what the hell? <laughs> Can you get a picture? Cameraman, of that? pan. <laughs> Can you get a picture of that? I'm gonna <laughs> post it on our thing. Yeah. A picture of his face, dude. That's great. Uh, you know how cats just sleep with their face smashed down? Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> Welcome to the Windbreaker Show. Can you guys hear that? We're both wearing windbreakers. Is that bad for the pod? Windbreaker pod? Got a little bit. Got a little video. Here, let me do. Let me do a little video, and then I'll do a little photo. (laughs) (laughs) Documentation. Anyway, yep. What were you saying? Well, we were saying I was watching. I was watching Drake and Josh. Fucking. Yeah. And uh, no, I don't know. But yeah, I was just. I, I, I thought they were. Those were. I thought those time. were. Oh yeah. yeah. I thought those were good points of just like him being like uh, it's bad parenting. And I'm like, I, I mean, I guess you can't just go bad parenting, but like also, there like at one point the Drake's dad was trying to like step in. I think he was the dad. Uh, he aide. got molested. And he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, he's like, God damn it! This guy. This I guy. don't get caught up in this. <laughs> this, this guy's good. <laughs> <laughs> he can't. You just can't stop him. <laughs> fuck. Hey, he'll fuck you. That's a clip. That is a clip. Clip, clip it. it. Yo. Find, find me a Coke. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to send this whole podcast to Drew and go, get, get some good clips out of this. Hey, Drew, you Figure fucking out. piece of shit. I'm actually, uh, when Drew sa- when Drew was talking about, this is this doesn't even have to be out of here, but I'm going to say it anyway. Hell yeah. When he was, like, uh, talking about the, uh, he was, like, texting us about how he has, like, the two, like, the job. Well, he was telling me also on, on Discord, but, like, Cause he's like, oh, yeah, I got this job, and then he's like, I got like the other job that I'm starting, and he said that he said it's like, well, it's like a month thing, and then it's like a trial thing, and then maybe it might be permanent or whatever. But at any time, I was like, I was like, good. I'm like, I'm like happy. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, me too. Yeah, like sweet. I was like hoping. I'm like, dude, I hope he's just not unemployed forever, and fucking because like, it's so annoying. But anyway, it just sucks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, anyway, back to the rapists, and uh, yeah. Back to the rape uh, the ceiling is fine. The ceiling's fine. Chris was talking about it earlier. Checking it out. It's got, it's oh, good speckles. What are those called? Spocks? I don't know. Making things up. Oh, yeah, what is it? popcorn ceiling. Popcorn ceiling. I think that's what it's called. I think people do that after they have water damage and they go, we can clean this up. 
I don't. I did. There was a thing. We could hide, th- hide this pretty. I well. remember like watching a video and like, yeah, a lot of pe- this was like really popular and it like does. Hi- I don't know if it's like yeah, like hide and stuff or whatever. But anyway, that's yeah, a Molesters are bad. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I didn't watch. <clears throat> Jen watched. Drew said last night he goes, I watched it and I was like, nice. He goes, he goes, it's fucked up, but it's a, it's a good documentary or whatever. And I'm just like, now I want to watch it again with like with like uh, with our friend's idea. I I might watch it, but I'm just like I already like it's like yeah, I, you, I you keep get, getting bits and pieces of it, and I go, it. I mean, I don't. Yeah, no, it's sad. I I just like it's fucked up, and I like I'm just gonna be watching it, going, God fucking damn it, just mad. He's so cute. Hey, Dice. You also you want to hang out with Gary? You're also you also haven't seen all the funny podcasts, and you'd better to it's better to yeah, have a couple laughs that's true. than. Uh, yeah, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna watch dude, I watch David Shit that happened twenty years, and ago. I literally opened my podcast app, and, I, and then I said it was. Shane and Matt and Shane, and he was on there, and I went, well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, watch this one instead. Yep. I did. I'm just, I feel like we beat it into the ground, but I can't, I, I don't listen to him that much. And then every time I do, and like a comedian's like, haha, jokey, jokey, he goes, ah, but it's actually not like that. And, um, and I'm like, and, uh, <laughs> I wonder how many people are like, yeah, I mean, he should have all of the comedy base, like all people who have checked out Rogan, you know, there's every type of person. But people who are like like super comedy fans should be able to be like, oh, I listen to all the comedy episodes. Yeah. But they don't because of how he is. Oh yeah, I can't. It's like I can't. And it sucks for me too. Like, can you just like let these people be funny? I like hearing about the people, and then I want to suggest it to. I can't even like I suggested to you, uh, a close friend, and then I I I will never suggest. Ro- a Rogan episode, I feel like, to like many people Anybody. because they're, they're going to be like, really? Yeah. Oh, I've checked out one time he was with Chris Rock and he never laughed and yeah, just talked about serious animal facts. Dude, I'm, I'm <laughs> sitting there and I'm just like listening. Yeah. I'll ta- I'll, it's just like, and then it's just how like, big was Shaq as a baby? Talking Let's about look it up. bull sharks. Yeah. And then and I'm yeah. like, David tells got funny jokes about bull sharks and he's like, no, for real though, they will fucking like knock yeah. an entire building down. Like, look at the brute force of bull sharks' faces. Yeah, like, yeah, and, like they'll start saying the something, for- and then like Jamie, the- look it up. He's like, yeah. I typed it in. <laughs> he's yeah. giving Jamie shit because he's always like, videos. type it in better. Type it in better, Jamie. Bullet, do it better. Anywho, Nickelodeon rapes and Rogan sucks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um. Uh oh, someone got hurt. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, man. Mm-hmm. That's in the news. Uh, yeah, Legion of Skanks. Peter, these <laughs> we're talking on about it. Run. And it was, I was fun. <clears throat> my funny. So they were just saying whatever, but my funny take is that Legion of Skanks is uh, they're they're standing with Dan Schneider all the way. <laughs> it's like, wait, is that's that, like, is that what they? That's said? like kind of what they were doing. They're, I mean, not really, but they were just like, they I mean, like, he's not, he's not guilty. Yeah, like he's guilty of being a fucking asshole. Yeah, and that's all the stuff he that, said asshole that, shit. And like the ones where it was like he designed, like the scene was like, look, it's a c- they're coming on our face. This guy's not gonna go to jail for the rest of his life because he was an ass. He's a fucking dickhead. Yeah. And then they were like, Amanda, <clears throat> Amanda Bynes went into his his uh, office a lot. And I'm like, did end up Amanda Bynes so, yeah. say that she ever got fucking uh, suplexed? And yeah, it's funny because I saw a thing that was like. <laughs> The only person that can incriminate him now is like has like lost gonna... her mind or whatever. And I go, well, yeah, but you don't know that she yeah. anything happened. Yeah, so you're just making an insane assumption. Oh, not yeah. insane, but you're making a. I mean, it's like what happens now. It's assumption. like a guy's a piece of shit, and then people are like, well, he probably murdered seventeen people, and the and like we just will never know. And I'm like, well, I mean, you. Huh, yeah. you know, like, All right. Well, I'd like to find out more about these seventeen people, and it's like, well, we don't. He probably though. He pro- yeah, he probably did it. What? But uh, <laughs> that's what they were doing on the show, and then they brought up. This is uh, it's funny because Justin was bringing up a lot of the same stuff. So I sent him clips because I was like, they're doing. <laughs> I was like, and he's like, oh, someone agrees with me because the Legion of Skanks were like, oh, Legion. <laughs> You're sending Legion of Skanks clips. Yeah, cause, well, which first off, that's I guess another. I'll just not be in that chat. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes, dude, Shaw texts a lot. Yeah. Like, if you think I text a lot, I don't. You don't think that? No. Okay. I think sometimes there's group chats yeah, go okay. crazy, and I go, whoa. 
I try to like keep it minimal because you could easily just like out phase out. If you got a chat with just three or four people, you could easily phase out one person yeah. by just being like, oh, 83. God, I'm not looking oh, yeah. at that dude. What am I going to fucking. If maybe if I'm at work, I'm getting paid. But it's like, yeah. if I'm at home, it's like, no, I'm trying to touch my Johnson jacket to this <laughs> Nickelodeon to jack, show. Jack my Johns. Yeah, I'm looking up those webcam I'm series. Trying to jack my days. Ariana Grande. Uh, oh, yeah. Did you hear about uh, see, So that, that's a part two. There's like a web series that he produced or directed. And that's like the weirdest one. Wait, who did? Dan Schneider. Oh. Like he directed it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Or some shit. Not, maybe, maybe not directed, but he did. He had something. He like uh, had writered it, whatever the fuck. And there's a web series Ariana Grande had, I think, before she had shows or something. Maybe it was like in between. I don't know. But. It's a web series, so it was only on like their websites or whatever. And she's just in her bed, laying in her bed, and she just says shit from her bed. And which you know, a lot of Nickelodeon Disney stuff. You're like, oh, okay, that's just like that's what they they kids, yeah, it's like the kid kids, in their room writing the kid, in their diary or whatever. Yeah, kids. Yeah, it's just normal stuff. But she's going, I wonder if a teenage girl like me can drink water upside down. And you oh, know how doing, like like dumb shit. Yeah, and yeah. you know how like porn will yeah. have a girl hanging off a bed. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm not saying. And this. so she lays like that, and she's just going, ah, ah making yeah, those I crazy see, noises. I did and I'm see like, that, dude. Well, that's yeah. insane. Yeah. And so a lot of the stuff that they show, a lot of the craziest stuff, is from that one little webcam series. So they'll sprinkle that in when they're going. Dan Schneider might be the biggest piece of sh- piece of shit raper of all time. And then they'll they'll show like uh, a weird splatter from a uh, a Nick uh, Drake and Josh episode. Or a Amanda Show episode. And then they're like, and then Ariana Grande on her bed sucking her own toe. And then splashing water on her face. Yeah. And then her going, ah, and, t- and stuff. And then, uh, yeah. What's the link to this? No. <laughs> <laughs> but, Gamity. That's me watching it. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know. He's probably, yeah, he's probably just a fucking, yeah, he's just a piece of shit, creepy fucking. Yeah, and then so he did do an asshole. Th- they start the show off. They go, they got these two people, oh, these two girls. So he's bringing in these writers for the uh, all that for the first season, and he's like, all right, we're gonna have this guy. He's one of the writers. He's getting paid like full writing pay, whatever you know. That's like eighty grand, whatever the fuck it is, and at at the time in nineteen ninety four, whatever the fuck. And, uh, and then he's like, all right, and then uh, now we're going to have, we're going to, I'm going to hire these two women. And then the women are talking about it, and it's going back and forth. And they're like, and they hired us for how we both split the cost of one person's pay. Like, and I'm like, yeah, that's fucked up. But th- th- then they were like, and that was our, it's our dream job. So, like, we took it. And it's like, <laughs> well, you're an adult, and you took the job. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's what Shaw's doing. Shaw's going, oh, you made a bad choice. Yeah. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. Oh, you're talking about a fucking shitty guy. Was and she seems so timid, too. Sexist I'm like, and fucking yeah. a piece of shit. And it was funny. A lot of times they showed the writer's rooms. It was just all men. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, that's why shows are funny. <laughs> <laughs> they could have used, like, uh, just uh, you know, a, a good chick on there. And so they had this timid lady who was... <laughs> It's pretty kind of how she was. And I'm like, does that make... Are you trying to make us think that you got raped, too? Because I don't think that happened. <laughs> he but. paid me half. I was basically raped. Yeah, paying half. <laughs> and so one of the times she goes, she goes, there was one incident in the writer's room, and we're all pitching ideas for uh, sketches. And this is literally how she sounds. She's like, I just don't know. And like that, she just sounds so scared. And I'm like... She's an actor, <laughs> yeah. and, but but she's up there and she goes, uh, "You're victim blaming." That's people listening to this. Mm-hmm. But uh, so she's like, "There was one time we're, we're all in the writers' room and, it, and it's all men. And it's and me and another woman who have to split pay, and and we're going over pitches." And I was like, "You know, it's funny. It's like you still go there every day. Fucking yeah. leave. Uh, yeah, you're talking about it. You go to this place every day to write shows, and you're this scared, and you're this. You think it's this fucked up." Then apparently your dream isn't your dream. Your dream's a better job, a better situation. Go tell somebody that these guys are kind of assholes. And then make it be known in the industry. 
These guys are assholes. Because he wasn't Dan Schneider, the guy he is in like 2005 or 2010. He's winning awards for these yeah. shows. This is the beginning. So in the beginning, you yeah. could have said, ah, fuck this. Yeah. Like I had, I, I had. It was uh, probably still hard though. Yes. Because it's like a woman. People like, shut that's up. What, that's what Shaw was. Shut your mouth. Shaw was saying what I'm saying right now. And then I was saying that to him. Uh, I was doing the other way of the thing going, I mean, it's still fucking difficult. I mean, you, you feel like that's your only way in. You yeah. just got in to, like, write yeah. for it. So, like, I understand. Yeah, I'm sure you're like, well, this is it, though. Like, I don't have another opportunity. Like, so I like, fully understand They're both probably sides. hoping, though. Like, I, I would just, probably I just have with... to, like, get through this, yeah. and then maybe I'll get on. So I would whatever. probably deal with bullshit, too, because I'd be like, whatever. Yeah. This lady just grabs my ass every day I walk in. Wow. But at least they took one of my pitches, Yeah. and I, I'm just trying to write funny stuff on a funny show. And uh, which it was a great show. I love that show. <laughs> Diesel, you were laying funnier earlier. Yeah. So the point is, and this it's all led up to like she's like, one time I'm pitching something, and he just he just had an attitude that day, and goes, mm-hmm. why don't you, why don't you repeat, why don't you do the pitch to me, but bend over the couch and act like you're getting fucked, <laughs> which is just a fucking weird thing. The guy doesn't go to jail for life because he told you to bend over a couch and act like you're getting fucked while you do a pitch, yeah. and you then did it. <laughs> so he just like basically got consent from you to bend over a couch and act like you're an idiot, yeah. and you just did it. So that was like her main thing was like we got paid half, and he told me to bend over a couch and do a pitch while I was getting fucked, uh, fake fucked, and uh, she's like, that's really humiliating. It's like, yeah, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't put pe- people behind bars. We could have, like, around this time right now, if that happened right now today, like The Daily Show, Jon Stewart comes back and he's making somebody oh, yeah. do a segment getting bent over, getting fucked. Then every other person goes, well, I'm tweeting about this and yeah. posting a video of what you just said, and yeah. we're going to stop this. Yeah, like back so in like, the day, people just, like, it was like, oh, we can't say anything or we get fired. Yeah. It's like, oh, you can't prove anything, you can't say anything, you can't. And now it's like everything's recorded. Everyone's like believes everything, dude. That's sweet. Did you get me one too? No, I oh, still have never seen that band. Fuck, I should have. Uh, he showed me his normal shirt. Should have bought you a shirt. That's all good. I actually didn't think about it. I almost, I have two. I almost bought a shirt. <laughs> then I was like, I was looking I at the table and I go, what? I still have not seen them. I was bought. I literally almost bought a shirt and I go, what am I gonna have? All their shirts? Yeah. <laughs> they had a NASCAR shirt with the NASCAR logo, but it says it said normal. <laughs> Don't want it. Yeah, I was like that. I like NASCAR. You're just standing at the booth, and they're like, oh, you're, you're like looking at it. They're like, oh, look, you want this one? You're like, I hate it. It sucks. Corey has gas. Well, well <laughs> that's that's a good movie. Oh, yeah, dude. How was your... Uh, blood and honey, blood too. Night, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. How much time do we got? We don't got enough time. Oh, great. <laughs> okay. well, this this pod is just Chris tells Corey about Nickelodeon. And then Chris tells Corey about and a movie. Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> what does Corey do? He goes, he just, he goes, that guy rapes and it was funny. <laughs> hey, yeah. Comedic relief. That guy's good. I feel like this, um, I feel like that movie, did, did, uh, did everyone enjoy the movie? No. Oh. <laughs> What did Shaw? Th- what did Justin? Nah, Shaw yeah, just gave his full name. Justin Shaw, our friend. He's been. He's the only. He's our main contact today. Yeah. <laughs> what did he think? He's our main correspondent. I mean, uh, he's weird. He'll be like, no, he likes, He just has to watch. Like, I think he's laid back home. and he he likes stuff. Yeah. He's not like well because he no. Oh, so this is what I was saying to him when we were discussing the Nickelodeon, uh, uh, quiet on set because don't talk about the stuff. Be quiet. <laughs> quiet on set. We're quiet on set and we're gay and we're touching boys. Quiet on set. Quiet on set. So the boys quiet don't scream set. when you're fucking their butts. And quiet they're sucking your cock. Sometimes I'm like, we should maybe we should do this for like an hour. Or not an hour, but like ten minutes. Like multiple minutes just yeah. getting silly. Quiet on the goots. Alright. Um no, but what I was saying with Shaw is like I go I go. Well, you have the amazing ability to pretty much look at all the facts on paper like and and not be emotionally charged and I think it's almost yeah, that's like impossible for I a think lot of people. Yeah, I go I think it's almost 
a, like an autist, like an autistic trait, not trying to be funny like everyone on the planet tries to use the word autistic. I have autism to too. Be, yeah, to be funny. I just think like he can, and I, it's almost like a lawyer. Like a he lawyer, a lawyer like he would be able. He's like, well, they did this and they did that, and you're like, oh, because yeah, cause we talked back and forth. He's like, I see both sides. He's like, but you can't deny that like the guy is not no like ten. Not even one or two kids yeah. came out and went, Dan Schneider did fucked up shit to me. Yeah. Like he did it in 98. Yeah, he was just a piece of shit boss. And yeah. then wanted to watch kids get fake cum done. Yeah. And he's like, hey, I'm getting away with it. Yeah. <laughs> I just had them pour yeah. spoiled milk on their face. Yeah. He's a smart pedophile. Yeah. <laughs> he's one of the smart ones. Take a note, Subway Jared. Oh, yeah. Take a uh, note, Subway Jared. You don't actually fuck the kids. Yeah. You'd fucking have them be in your commercials and tell them that. Pretend the oh, sandwich is a cop. So one fucked up thing. I mean, not one. There's a lot of fucked up things. But like that Brian Peck guy, right? <sighs> he got, he had like, oh, so that's another episode of the show. He has like the whole, episode the whole industry. How like many on. episodes are there? Four? Three? Five? There's four, but there's going to be another one. So that's the thing people keep talking about is that like Jeanette McCurdy. Like the fifth one is, we got him. Yeah, we we got him. It's just more of like, and then it's he said. Going, I think it's going to be more of like, oh, kind of, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Maybe Dan's fucking, maybe he's going to get in trouble. And then they went to his office. Well, what do they have to say about it? Nothing. Well, they're insane. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, he got me too during 2017 and 18. Mm -hmm. All these people talk shit about how much of an asshole he was and how one time he inappropriately grabbed my shoulder and elbow. And like they show clips of that. But I'm yeah. like, that's still not raping a child. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I, I don't want to hang out with the guy. You know, I will admit, I've never actually seen a child get raped, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that's, that's not it. That's not it, <laughs> yeah. He's just kind of like a weird uncle on set. And he's just like, hey. He's like, hey. He goes, you guys are cute. And then just walks away. And you're like, ah, I got raped. Yeah. It's like, that's not how it works. But, Yeah. You have to have that ability, and that's why I was like, maybe Sean should have been like a fucking lawyer or something. Yeah, because you'd have no problem taking either case and being like, "All right, I understand. I have to yeah only defend this side. I can see that side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could definitely. I wish I hung out with Shaw. You know, you got to quit your job. Wait, where's the? Nah, never mind. Oh, Wait, I can go here. Hold on. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's me. Yeah, I just see the. You guys all posted the same picture. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And I when I saw it, we reposted it. Yeah, yeah. So when I saw it, I was like, hmm. Oh. And then Lord when I saw money. Shaw post it, I almost, I almost just texted, ju just messaged just him, not anybody else. I wish I was there. <laughs> you should have. And, and then he would go, quit your job. Yeah. I'm going to start a big petition. I'll, everyone that talks to you is just going to go, quit your job. To me? Yeah. If Jen can support me. <laughs> I'm supporting my wife. I saw I saw I sent it to Jen. I saw I don't make any money. <laughs> I saw a TikTok. I sent it to Jen. It was just this girl driving and it was like when you girl boss too hard and it financially makes more sense for your husband to stay at home. And I just sent it to girl Jen and she so and she just sends me like a laughing and goes, Yeah. And I was like, She's way closer to getting a way higher paying job than I am. Yeah, and she's still like I mean she makes more than me now already. Yeah. But she's, like, trying to get a job where it'll, like, elevate. She'll be, like, we'll be, like, uh, I just wanted that. we'll be, like, the Caitlin and Mark. Yeah. Family? Mark's like, I'm going on tour. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, An what Anthony, was Anthony was at the normal show doing oh merch God. for Strange Magic. I went, what the fuck are you doing here? And then he had the Larry David pretty good shirt. Pre and I went. Uh, he, he probably just started Curb Your Enthusiasm last week. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I go. I go, I have that same shirt. He was like, oh, cool. And I was like, no, I'm going to burn it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say that? No. no. <laughs> I thought about it after the fact. I was like, yeah, that would have been good. Put me in, coach. Put me uh, in, coach. Um, what else are we going to talk I was connecting that with, uh, oh, yeah. Also, we were talking about how. This is the Nickelodeon yeah. Justin. Talk about a friend Justin pad. <laughs> I'll, tell, I'll tell Sean to check it out. Dude, we, like, we talked about you a lot. We'd be like, <laughs> I've listened to a bunch of pods lately, guys, and here's just by far one of the worst ones I listened to. Yeah, he said Come that. On, oh, yeah, even though you know the response. He asked if we want. You guys, anybody want to see Sam Hyde? Oh, and yeah. Then, and then you go, no. <laughs> I looked him up, and I was like, 
Not a chance. Yeah, I didn't know. I was like, I looked the guy up and I go, this sucks. Yeah. Like, that was my feeling. Did you watch like a clip or something? He didn't even have like, he. so he had a stand-up clip that was just like, I mean, I've been going to open mics in Down River, Michigan. Yeah. And I watched his thing and I was like, this, there's I've seen better comedians at open mics uh, in Wyandotte. Right. Yeah, he's at and the Royal Oak. F- a Ferndale. Huh? He's at Royal Oak Music Theater, I think. So I think he's popular because he has like some f- some like silly videos. Yeah, but I'm, I'm like, sure. this is just like a silly guy. I don't that's like view that this one, guy as like. That's like that one guy, the uh, Trevor. Trevor Noah. No. Trevor you know Wallace. Ta- you know what I'm saying? Trevor Wallace. Wallace. He's actually kind of funny, though. I've seen some of his stand He is he's fucking, funny. Yeah. He's like, to me, he's undeniable because he has such quick, funny things to say in his like uh, sketches, his funny yeah. things he makes. I'm just so, saying he got popular because of that. Yeah. But then, like, so, his stand-up's actually pretty good, I could too. picture him doing stand-up and just yeah. having a lot of quick hitters because he understands, like, that's what they do on these sketches. But the Sam Hyde dude <clears throat> was just uh, a little more of, like, weird and... Mm. Yeah, I just looked up a picture and I went, oh. <laughs> yeah, well, uh. And then, went, and then yeah, he goes... picture's not great. Right, <laughs> then, he, that was funny when, then Shaw was testing about Jordan Jensen. And I was like, I'll see her. And he's like, it's not till September, though. And I was like, oh, well... <laughs> Yeah, hit me up in fucking August. I don't know. Yeah, where's she gonna be? Toledo, some place in Toledo. Oh, okay. I mean, I'll go. That's like her only. Yeah, I want to go too. Comedy. Yeah, I told him. I go. Corey likes her, and he's like, "I know we fucking both love her." So I was like, "Okay." Yeah, he's like, like, "Yeah, he says like you can have her," and I'm like, "I don't want her that way." Also, I've heard her on a lot of podcasts, and I'm like, "She just sounds fucked up." Yeah, she's she's so fucked up. She's like, "I like don't even like men." Yeah, she's, she's like all over the she's place. She's like, if a guy is into me, then I hate him. Yeah, I and think I'm she like, needs a guy who wants to treat her like absolute trash. Yeah, like she the, wants a dude, white trash marriage. Her on Stav, and Stav goes, "You're a lesbian." <laughs> yeah, dude, that was so that was funny. Great. Uh, I think the she, lesbian I route. Do, I do. She's funny. The shit. lesbian route might be the only route for her to not to get abused by a man. <laughs> Because Dude, I don't that's think she like the could guy. get abused by a man. She's not fuck fuck it. She seems yeah. like very. I just that's like she's like. Oh, I need a guy not to like me, and I'm like, yeah, all right, yeah. Either you're she leaning into the funny. I've childhood heard her say shit. that a million times. Yeah. Either you're she's like, in. I date this guy, and then like they just they like want to hang out with me, and I'm like, ugh. And then I and then I'm like with a guy, and they're like, yeah, I don't. They just like don't care about me, and I'm like, I need this. Guy. And I'm I like, think Geez. there's a. I think there's a bunch of men, women have a little bit of that. I feel like I've seen it. Oh yeah, that's. I think it's like natural. Like, oh, this it's person weird. doesn't want me. It's like why little, don't they want a me? A little bit of a push yeah. and pull thing. Yeah, like, I mean, there's always been. I feel like that. Just not in the shower. What's she doing? Fiddling with her twat up there. I don't know, dude. She's I, been awake I've been since up. we got here. Oh really? Yeah, I heard her moving around oh, okay. when we got here. Well, at least she's not down here fucking up the pod. Yeah, she always comes down here and fucks with my shit, dude. She trying look, to do a pod. She looks at us, and then I'm like, yeah, she I looks can't at be, it. Am I, am I, all my creative trying to be funny. I'm not saying I am. She makes her silly face. Drains out of me. Yeah, we're not funny, but all of us, get, we get fully drained when my wife comes around hey. the corner. You know what I'm saying? If my wife's in, this, in the room, you're drained, yeah. all right? So blood and honey. <laughs> Is it the same? Are they dressed up? <laughs> dude, it the has same? no connection to the first one. Like, it's called Blood and Honey 2, and this is how they, they they're, they're one connection. First off, they're all English, too, and I have a problem with English people. <laughs> I met an English guy. One. I met English Rob. I met this English guy at a show. Didn't have a problem with him. Paul, pull up a second mic. We need Justin in here to... But we could do that. I think that'd be fun. Uh, but when would we be able to do it? Probably a weekend day? Like a... Like a yeah. Like a, I mean, whatever. He's not working a ton. I, I, that'd be fun. Post-tax season. Oh uh, yeah, it'd be fun too, too, because like Jordan and I have talked about doing episodes of uh, <clears throat> just like talking about a movie. I won't listen to that one. <laughs> and then what? Every, Shaw likes movies. We can this bring is him the in. dynamic of the Jordan Chris movie review. I Chris, hate everything. Chris shitting on the weird parts of the movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Jordan's ten, 10 out of ten for jo- me. Yeah, Jordan's like, <laughs> this movie's like French fries. Ten out of ten. <laughs> this movie's like cold French fries. Ten out of ten. <laughs> That's going to be a new bit now. Cold french fries? Yeah, just her rating stuff 10 out of 10 saying it's like cold french fries. <laughs> cold french fries, 10 out of 10. That's what my, my wife will eat cold french fries, everybody. I love how, like, I've heard, I've heard Maldon. Everyone on the planet's like, oh, you want a box for that? For french fries? No. Uh, yeah, yeah. My wife's like, I'll take everyone's boxes of I french fries. How, like, we've all, like, our group, everyone's been friends for so long that I've heard, I've heard just people go, 
like Jordan's like uh, uh, recommendations. So everyone goes, well, yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm gonna have to hear from somebody else. Yeah, Chris's dick's got to be so small. Yeah. <laughs> she says it's nice. She says she loves it, but, but I mean, she also likes a, a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah, she liked Final Destination Seven. <laughs> yes. His dick, seven. his dick cannot be impressive. <laughs> That's great. Uh, Should I do that on stage? I don't know. You could. There's some stuff, dude. You write it down, and yeah. I go. I That's start. I, I go up there, and then I'm like. It was bad. Man, this sucks. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I thought I had a funny... I th- I told you about the MMA one, and I was like, man, too wordy. So, I chopped out some words and was telling a friend, and they got some chuckles, but still, it's like... I'm like, oh, I have to wait for, like, an MMA benefit <laughs> to do this joke to a crowd that would care about it. So, I'm like, ah, fuck. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, Blood and Honey, the one connection they got with the first one. So, what they did was... You see a character uh, in therapy. Chris Robin is in therapy. And I go, didn't he die in the first one? So I was like, all right, I guess I'll just keep watching. I guess I just don't understand. I just keep watching. And I'm like, and it's a totally different character, you know? And because uh, the first one was just ridiculous. The first one was basically, let's put, we got a costume that's like a bear. Ah, what if it's Winnie the Pooh? Yeah. But it's not. I saw pictures. And it's I a went, fucking what? shitty bear costume. And then, uh, so they, I guess, when they made that first one, they don't have, they didn't have rights to Tigger, or, they didn't have rights to Tigger. They didn't have rights to. <laughs> they didn't have rights to the pig, to piglet too, or to, <laughs> or, or uh, some other stuff. Uh, Oh, or the owl. Do you remember there being an owl in Winnie the Pooh? Sean, Jordan, they're all like, oh, it's the owl. And I'm like, owl? It looked like the fucking Jeepers Creepers character. You know Jeepers Creepers? Yeah. They had that owl in the fucking Winnie the Pooh blood and honey murder movie. And oh, yeah. I didn't remember the owl. Let me see it. I just have to see Please it. Please show on. me. Because I don't remember a fucking yeah. owl. Oh, I do. Yeah, I remember the owl. I picked Dude, <laughs> nothing like that. I wish they just made it look more. I don't know. It's like obviously can't be a cartoon, but yeah, well, the dude, first it looks Jeep, Jeepers Creepers. And he's like, nah! and he's like, and his feathers are fucking twitching like Jeepers Creepers. I'm like, they just did a Jeepers Creepers character. I just think they did. This is so bad. What they did was they just made a shitty horror movie. Yes, and then they uh, to get eyes on it, they just took an existing IP and then made yep. shitty costumes. And went, but it is Winnie the Pooh. That would be me. Like you know, it, you could just do that with like anything. Yeah, dude, they, they fucking, that's basically, that's what they've been doing. Yeah. They go, oh, what, what the fuck, the, Roadhouse. And it's like, that's just a different movie. Yeah. But they're like, no, it's Roadhouse, dude. It's modern day Roadhouse. Oh, yeah, but I mean, it's like, that's like a. But they did it because it, people will pay attention. Oh, yeah, people, yeah, yeah. if it's just, oh, do you see the Conor McGregor, Jake Gyllenhaal fighting movie? Oh, yeah. You'd be like. Who cares? I don't know. But then you just say it's oh it's, dude, Roadhouse. it's Roadhouse. Remember yeah. fucking Roadhouse was sick, dude. Yeah. Well, that's how they get people to watch stuff. They just say it's oh it's just this. So it's the same idea, but just a shitty uh, horror movie. But they're yeah. like oh we can get eyes on this. It's fucking and they got so that guy has a whole bunch of shit coming out. Like the people who did that. Right. There's gonna be Bambi, where he gets revenge on the hunters. <laughs> yeah, and it's just a shitty costume. The shitty costume is where I'm like it's gonna be a standing stupid. guy with the ear, little ears. Yeah, he just wears like a little face paint. I, mean, I wanted as a gun. I wanted the Bambi to be. Uh, um, he's like, he's getting revenge, but it's not from hunters. Deer are getting killed every day on the road. Oh yeah. I want them. To, I want a little Bambi to come out on the road, and it's like, shh. and then it sees like it's Bambi, like a deer get hit. Yeah. And then it's just like, like John Wick. I got to get revenge on all these cars. Yeah. And then now he's just in the road. And he's causing these accidents. He's timing it up. He's looking at big semis. He times them up and then just just in the last second gets out of the way and these semis are getting jackknifed and everyone's blowing up and dying and he's just sitting there rubbing his little mitts together. His, his hooves. <laughs> I think I mean, that'd we be should fun. do this. The hunter thing is As they're too. coming down the road and the cars, he <laughs> drives out in a monster truck that says Bambi on the side, <laughs> crushes him, <laughs> yeah. and back on the other side. That's what the, they would do. Or he'd, he'd turn in, like, not turn literally into a torpedo, but he could, like, fix himself as, like, a, as like a you know, like a wrestler. He'd 
torpedo into, into somebody like in oh, wrestling. Yeah. Like you're doing like a headbutt or something. You just do that through the fucking windshield, <laughs> impaling right. people with his hooves, and then he hops back out. He's just a superhero. Superhero Maybe. deer. Killing. Dude, it's hot in here now. Heat's cooking yeah. up. Oh, yeah, it is. Started blasting. It don't take long. Don't take long for me. So everyone, so everyone enjoyed it besides it. Chris. I, it's fine. It's fun. Yeah. I actually was falling asleep because there was like talking... Like all this talking dialogue early, and I was like, "Dude, what the fuck?" Dude, once again, maybe it's just English people or English actors, but they come off as such complete pussies. These people in these movies, because the first, the first one, the Christopher Robin, is just like, oh, "No, Winnie," and I'm like, maybe that's the character, that, you know, because they're like, "It was a fucking book, and he was a pussy in the book, so we're making him a pussy in the show." So that makes sense. I just. You know, you know. Never mind. Yeah, I'm definitely wrong because what? Who? Uh, there's a bunch of English badasses in movies, but like, yeah, dude, Jason Statham. Jason, oh, Jason Statham. He should be in that movie, just dude, repeating the like, shit out of them yeah. all. That should be three. He's like, you never met an Englishman like me. Ma, ma, oh, name, ma, name, <laughs> ma, name is Christopher Robin. <laughs> and you knew it was going to sound the, funny. like, <laughs> I'm going to kill you now. He's like, I'd like to see you try. Yeah. <laughs> and then he just. I'm kill. also the beekeeper. <laughs> <laughs> you stopped Piglet's neck. You're next. <laughs> oh, Piglet does die in the beginning. Good. Uh, ruined it. But is everybody. it? But Piglet's a small little thing. This is a giant. It's, it's a full grown man. He's Piglet. like a five foot man <laughs> in the in the movie. He's like, yeah. And yeah, he turns around. And he's like, oh and then God. I'm fucking mad. They just fucking have, somebody shotguns his face. <laughs> a human gets shotgunned in the face, and he's just like. At one part, and looks at Christopher Robin, and he's like, "Oh, Winnie, or whatever the fuck." Is that the first one? No, that's the, the second one. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're all completely. So Christopher pussies. Robin's still a pussy. Yeah. So the new Christopher. The Robin. way they look at it in number two is, they talk to Christopher Ro- that Chris Robin. They call him Chris Robin, which I'm like, "What are we doing here?" Okay, it's Christopher Robin. Yeah. Okay. So, anyways, they 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 talk to him as if that that was a movie in the movie. Oh. Like the first one was a bad movie that was making fun of his childhood trauma mm. or something. Like this is fucking dumb. <laughs> they were like, "Well, we need to have Chris Robin back because we need to have some scary shit with him." <laughs> uh, then they also, so what really happened was a scientist. This is what they said in this movie. There was a scientist who worked on half bear, half peop- people shit. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and then they made these things, and he's like, they had superhuman abilities. Chris Robbins driving in a car, and he's playing, like, an audio track that he got from a scientist's, like, r- discoveries. And the guy's like, and it was amazing, the abilities they were able to achieve. <laughs> they were, they're superhuman, also super bad, whatever the fuck. Some horrible, whatever, some crazy shit. <laughs> And then Winnie the Pooh smashes into the car and flips it over. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was like, yeah, that was the beginning. He kills three bitches in the beginning. Good Lord. Oh, dude, and then Tigger, they wasted, this is a big point I wanted to make. They wasted a ample opportunity. Tigger <laughs> jumps around on his tail. Yeah. He didn't do that once. Oh, yeah, they don't have the budget. That's what they're saying. I'm like, well, I thought that was the reason we're watching number two is that they made money they from made number money, one. Yeah. They're going to have a little bit of a budget. And then Caitlin's like, well, they wasted the, the, most of their budgets on that rave scene. There's basically a rave scene that's Blade, that's Blade, but it's but it's Tigger and Winnie the Pooh just fucking slashing people at rave. At this and rave. no one's stopping Everyone's it? Everyone's just running away. Wow! There's one oh part, a really big heavy chick. I was like, no way. Because uh, there was yeah, a couple... Bl- at least Blade has skills. So, uh, Tigger actually made a couple... I feel wrong saying Tigger, but T- <laughs> Tigger said a couple things. Uh, like, he'd be like, Yeah, come back, bitch. Like, he actually, like, talked when Winnie and these other ones, like, aren't, weren't really... Well, the owl was talking. It's weird what they decided to do. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, Tigger would be talking. He's like... Yeah, you're dead, bitch, or whatever. He said a couple of things like bitch, and it was kind of funny feeling. So there's this overweight raver, and she falls down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And there's 
And uh, she looked like an egg. No. So there was a, a, like a grate she fell onto. And he's underneath and he has like claws because he's been slashing people because he's a tiger or whatever. And he's like, and he looks nothing like Tigger, dude. It looks like a man. It looks like a long, lean man with a little cat mask. So it doesn't really look like. So Tigger, they dude. spent none of the budget. They, on. S- they they did, but it just doesn't. It looks like some other shit. They're like, no, we can't find. We run out of time. We gotta that's get this what, movie. That's out. what makes me mad. And I and it's fine if they're like, yeah, but that's what they were like going for. But it makes me mad that they were like, this is Winnie the Pooh, and you go, whoa, and then you watch it and you go, it looks nothing like it. I mean, yeah, but that's even, the point. That's like that's stupid. Yeah, to me. It's That's just, stupid. I feel like it could be closer. Yeah, to it look. could be closer. So, but anyways, he 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 starts going, <laughs> and he's just slashing the shit out of her through oh the grate, and blood just splashed on his face, and he's like, <laughs> "Are you laughing?" And dude, there's so much in the movie. I'm going. I just go. <laughs> I just put my arm in the air. Jordan's like laughing because I'm like, she's like, Chris is mad or whatever, yeah. and Shaw's like, "This is sick," you know. Uh, dude, early in the movie, a bunch of the break, a bunch of the kills were just like one lady's laying there and just gets each limb like snapped the wrong way. Oh. And I'm, I would just looked at the ground. I was like, dude, what the fuck are we doing? I don't want to watch this. I thought it was Saw movies. I'm like, I don't want to watch this yeah, shit. Yeah, this sucks. Like yeah. the fucking gore porn stuff. I can't. I don't yeah, I'm like. Care. I think you have. I don't even think it's cool. No. It's not scary. It doesn't look cool. I'm just like, I don't want to watch someone just get dismembered. Yeah, so that's what's happening. And then. There's another part. Shaw would say, that was cool. You got to admit that was cool. Uh, <laughs> I can already picture Yeah. Somebody gets, somebody gets their, like, oh, it was like a cop. She gets her, dude, the cops, too, in London or whatever, England, whatever the fuck. They, uh, they, they just show up, and they're all, like, tiny. You know, we got, like, guys who look like they'd at least beat the fuck out of you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, in America, uh, let alone they got weapons and yeah. guns and shit. But uh, in England, they're like they're just in like a yellow. Yeah, they got. Make sure I'll you go, see me. I got my little bat. Hey, they don't my even, little baton. Yeah, they don't even pull that out. It's just this, this little. I lady. don't have anything. <laughs> just that. I, I just have my words. and grommet. I have cheese. I from have the my moon. words. You must listen to my words. I am <laughs> the authority. Yeah. So he's so this lady's looking around and then she sees Winnie and she, uh, and she's like, oh no, and then Winnie just starts fucking bashing her and he <laughs> breaks an arm off. Like beats her to death with her arm, and then shoves her arm in her throat, and her arm is too big to go in her throat. <laughs> yeah. So then it shows the camera from her laying down, and a full arm is like coming out of her mouth, like like perfectly in her mouth. Yeah. And her mouth's huge. I'm like, well, that wouldn't make sense. If you're jamming yeah, yeah. an arm into a mouth, the face would be breaking. Yeah, yeah. As you know, so I was like, I get it. They, they're like, oh, that's a cool image for the whole, mo- whole movie. Yeah. That's the cool thing we did budgeting on is an arm and a mouth. But that, that doesn't make... Neil deGrasse Tyson would be like, that doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, so Shaw would be like, you'd have to admit that was cool. And I'm like, I guess. He shoved an arm in a mouth. <laughs> but uh, back to the slashing, I was like, <laughs> I thought he was going to... Let's get back to the slashing. I thought he was going to say something funny. About like pig roast or I don't know, yeah. just anything. Just because that was just, I'm mean, like, there's been so many movies like that. Yeah. Where like a certain type of, per- like an ugly ass person or someone with glasses gets killed. They're like four eyed fuck. Or, you All know, right. Freddy the Krueger made me think that. He he was always roasting people as he's killing people. Yeah. I don't think so, you can do that anymore though. Yeah. So maybe that maybe Jordan was like, wow, size this. I was like, I, I, that was just my thought. It was see this big lady fall down. And he already was going, yeah, bitch, you fucking dumb bitch. He said, like, bitch to a couple people. I was like, oh, he's probably going to be like, fat bitch. Or just yeah. something. Yeah, then, you can't do that anymore. But the Tigger thing. I wanted him to be bouncing around. Uh, just, just one bounce. Dude, what if they just put him on a pogo stick? That's what we were saying. We were like, you could have easily had, like, an invisible type of pogo stick. They could that. easily. Purposely, oh, no. he just is on a pogo stick. <laughs> that would be fun. At least that would be funny. That would be funny. But like he does, I'm saying it's like they they did they didn't even go. They're not to like, aware enough to even yeah, be. Yeah, it's like make it enough like funny. I don't know. All of these, dude. Things, you could have got a midget to be piglet. That would have been fucking hilarious. Yeah. And you could have Winnie the Pooh. Like could have made him like. You could have got Brad have a Williams a job. And like, and like actually made him look like. They, it's like they didn't try hard enough to make him look alike. And then it's like they just went. Here's a shitty costume and just call it the thing. Yeah, I, re- I really want them. Let's all, make a, let's make a movie where Mario and Luigi kill people, and then you just have a guy in a mustache, and then he just talks like, yeah, my name's Mario. 
Like, doesn't even talk like yeah. an Italian yeah. or anything. It's he also like, has, like, a long head. You're like, Luigi's supposed to have the long yeah, head. Yeah, right. It's what like they doing? don't. It's, that's what makes it mad. It's like you didn't even, like, get it close. Yeah. Um, I think so. Dude, that would have been fun. If, if you told me right now, Tigger's on a pogo stick. I would have went, I'm watching it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That'd you're be great. You're right. That's great. That would have been awesome. They, so that's the same sort of and thing. Then, yeah, is Eeyore in it? No, I think they still don't have rights to that. Oh, he damn, he dude. was he joined He's later. Too depressed. Yeah, dude. Why are we killing? Oh, yeah, <laughs> he'll be he'll be in the third one. They got plans for him. Yeah, third or fourth midnight fifth. release, and he'll be like, "We have to change our ways." <laughs> but they talked about how they're regenerative, regenerative. So of course, oh, the, just, the movies will never end. Yeah, just make like, whatever you want. Just make up some weird thing. So Jordan's like, dude, she's crazy. She's like, yeah, he, he got killed, but they're regenerative. I can't talk. They're regenerative. And then I'm like, I Rege- go. What is it? Regen- regenerative? Regen- What's the word? Regenerate. They can regenerate. They, so basically they they're Deadpool. Regenerate. Yeah. They're Wolverine. They don't do it in the moment. You, they, well, they yeah, it takes wait, a while. They wait till fucking, yeah, five days. Yeah, they're not as fast as Deadpool or Wolverine. Well, which, Wolver- Deadpool's not super fast. Wolverine's way faster than yeah. Him. Wolverine just sink yeah. His fucking arms. Deadpool back. is like because he had the glow in the movie grows those legs back and it's super slow. Yeah, and he's like uh, he like limps out of there yeah. or whatever. Um, so they, yeah, that's see, that's another thing. It's like, oh my god, I feel like they could have changed a few things. Or I went, oh, those movies are funny or cool or whatever. But it's like, and then they're like, well, so we can keep making them. They can regenerate. We yeah. scientists made that uh, happen for them. Yes, I just why made don't, that if someone made that, why don't we have super soldiers in this universe then? Yeah. What the fuck? Maybe we do. Well, then go kill the fucking drone strikes. No, yeah. Sure. Yeah, what the hell? Have you seen those videos? Uh, I've just heard a lot about them. I Even just, on podcasts, people go, dude, I was just on Instagram Reels, boom, watching a fucking... Oh, yeah. Fucking Ian talked about it on the on the Matt and Shane one with yeah. Dave Attell. I watched the same video. It was literally... Dude, this is what you see. You see, like, a guy, I don't know what it is. It's, like, something tarped over or whatever. And, like, it's, like, a satellite view or made from, like, a, I don't know, like, one of those high planes or something. And you see just, like, a drone that, like, a dad would have. It has, like, the four things that's just me. Oh, damn. And you just see it. So, like, at first I'm watching this video and I go, what is happening? And you see this guy, like, crawling out of, like, a tarp thing. And he's, like, and he's like running around it. And you see the drone going like this. And then he's, like, running around it. And you see the drone. It gets close to him, and then just, you just, like, there's no sound. You don't see it, and you see it explode, and then the guy's just, and I go, what the fuck? So then they're just, they're just putting, like, bombs on drones and then flying them in and, like, just killing people. Yeah. And I'm like, this is fucked up. Yeah. God damn, dude. Yeah. What the hell? That's like, uh, I don't know, all that stuff. Yeah. It's funny. People are like, you got to get rid of TikTok, and it's just like, you can find that shit on dude. Reels. That was TikToks. On, that t- was on Reels. You can't. That can't TikToks. be on TikTok. Yeah, TikTok's not dude, showing me death. I watch t- <laughs> dude. I, I'll be on TikTok and it'll be like a Reels John, like me death. a scene in John Wick, and I go, "Oh, this scene's sweet. I'm gonna watch it." And it, right before the fighting scene starts, and then it cuts past all the fighting, and it's just him after it because TikTok shit gets taken down if there's any violence. Instagram. I've literally seen people getting killed on security footage, and I go, "This is allowed to be on here." Yeah. It's what nuts. the fuck? <clears throat> That's fucked up. But whatever. Yeah. So yeah, should have had a pogo Ooh, stick. Should have put, dude. I'd be, I'd go watch right now. Uh, anywho, any farts? Yeah, I was thinking. Just, I, I just wanted them to edit like one little bounce. I mean, they had so much like uh, dark screen stuff. You can hardly see stuff. Yeah, because you could have had them. You could have bounced had in a room. Just like bounce, yeah, just bounce a little bit. I'm like, ah, uh, which would have been funny. But then even funnier, your idea. It's like they didn't even like. Yeah, like, put me in that writer's room. I was like, well, let me make this oh, that movie was, a little better. That was the point I was going to make, is that, like, so in Marvel, to me, what did I, what did I most enjoy about all of those movies? Thor Ragnarok for having a bunch of funny shit in there oh, yeah. because they actually had comedic writers when they made that, when they put that movie together. Mm-hmm. I'm like, and then guess, guess what's happened with all the Marvel stuff that's not funny and not, like, that, that it's, like, become stale. People aren't watching People are like f- falling off that. So That's many people have fallen off of the train. They like, keep making new stuff, and people are like, "What? A Captain Marvel six? Like, what's going on?" Yeah. And I don't know, but that, that's like a whole other thing. But uh, just hire a couple with everything. If you're making a movie, hire a couple comedic writers, dude. They're not expensive. There's so many open mic people, and 
they'll they'll give you a funny line or two and yeah. fucking boost your movie. I think people like have certain visions where they're like, well, I don't want, this isn't like a comedy yeah. or whatever. It's like, all right, whatever. But they, I mean, they know that that thing's dumb. And there's some, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Who knows? It's silly. But, I mean, the movie's entertaining, right? I try to think about that with movies. I'm like, yeah, th- these movies aren't supposed to be groundbreaking. Yeah. Like it was entertaining. It was I, put, I looked stick. away when arms are being snapped and all the time. Just give me a pogo place. stick and I'm happy. <laughs> What's that song? Uh, let me get right in the pogo stick. People love that song, dude. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Bigfoot. Yeah. Be. What else happened? Oh, I met a guy who had the same Whoa. knee surgeon as me. That's crazy. Wow. I was like, man, we're hitting it off. You want to talk somewhere I'm else? Fucking have sex. You want to? F- you want to fuck me, man? You want to fuck me, man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have nothing. Um, oh, we talked about new stuff. P Diddy, he's on the run. Listen to the band Normal. <laughs> yeah, P Diddy is on the run. Listen to the band Normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got it. That's. She's like, <laughs> nah, I probably need a new. Uh, <laughs> I probably need a new hot water heater because my water pipes are clanking. I have mine did that too, like bad, bad. Yeah, in the kitchen, when I do it in the kitchen, it's like, tick, tick. I'm like, damn. Yeah, sometimes I'm like, something's gonna explode. Or I don't something. know. I don't really know. I think it's, it's just, called I mean, sediment. Yeah, like sediment collects in there, and then it's like air popping. Like uh, I had one time. I'm not even doing any construction in the house. I just turned my sink faucet on, and, like, air came out. Oh, yeah. What the hell? And I went, whoa. Whoa. That was close. It's like, I don't know what's going on in my house. I have a plumber for an uncle, but I'll never ask him anything. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I have an uncle for a plumber. I have an uncle for a plumber. I have a plumber for an uncle. What did she say that was? Uh, graveyard of Science. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why does she have it in frame? Vegas or something? I don't know. I, I probably got something wrong again. Yeah. Ow! I forgot to text today. Yeah, well, here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Uh, all right, here's the music part of the show. Uh, check out Simulacra. Check out. Damn. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. There you go. Check out. Check out Ray Street Park. They are playing tonight, but... When you hear this, it'll they be already played. Play. Already played. Or check out. Ah, uh, he's doing more drums. Or check I'm out. Yep. Or check out. Yep. We can't play those. This is. This is. <laughs> this is good. This is. How is it? Uh, <laughs> That's all right. Some things are fun, dude. Anyway, anywho. This is... This is I'm a good guy. Uh, I didn't even realize he, when Normal was playing, they were like... We're not normal. We're not normal. We're not normal. We're not normal. We're not oh, dude. Sometimes I'm in the car the and I'll listen like at Normal come on and then there's a... I don't know. There's like a... Like whatever song. Like I don't know. Like... That song like love love scene or whatever comes on and then like this oh, yeah. just, like the music starts and I just start going and I'm gay <laughs> <laughs> just, like, start to, it makes me laugh gay man and then walking down the street that's it that's all she wrote no they were like oh yeah it was Dude, drain came like, on this reading. album came out almost two years ago and I was like shit shit I'm an old fuck man time's going I'm an bad. old fucker time's going bad I'm an old fucker. <laughs> There's a new Michigan hardcore band called God Body. Nice. They had some pretty sick tunes. Nice. Sexy body. God Body. Sick tunes. Stop at Nothing. One sick tune. They don't have any other songs out <laughs> yet. Just one. Decide to dart. Okay. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like getting dirty, so I don't like getting better. To send me dirty in the streets, dirty in the streets. That's me. I'm dirty in the streets. We should suggest that to Kenny, dude. What? That's the next song. If you're gonna have a whole dirt album, yeah, dirty in the streets, dirty in the streets. Yeah. I'm dirty. I'm dirty. Dude, talk about talk about the Green Bay Packers once, and you're done. Yeah, dude. Make one song about the Packers, and you're getting fucked up on that stage. <laughs> I'm ripping that mic out of your mouth. Out of your mouth. 
Out of your, out of your hands. And shoving it in your ass. Out of you. Out of my ear. I talked about the Packers once. Kenny. Talk about them one time. Talk about them one more time. Uh-oh. Did the Packers? Oh, they did make the playoffs, right? They beat the Cowboys, then they lost to the Niners. Is that what happened? Mm, I like, can't remember now. Do we wanna, we uh, beat the Bucks, and then we I want to make some bets. Hey, the uh, bonus bet money. Do you have to use all of it in one go? Oh, or we beat the Rams. How can you bucks. split it up? The bonus bet money? Oh, yeah, because I know like you can click like the switch. So Let like, me see. here one second. I gotta log in. <laughs> I uh, here I'll just click. No, no, don't uh, bet it, everybody. It's bad for you. I'll just click. One. I'll just click one to, to pull it up. This is God's butthole. So see how it says bonus bet, and then you can go like that. Oh, then you can change right here. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, you got the options? Yeah. Anyway. A lot of times, your bonus bet uh, Are stuff, these games today? It'll uh, go away. There are games tomorrow. I know that. There's two games today and tomorrow. Oh, okay. Illinois and UConn, Clemson and Alabama, and then Tennessee, Purdue, NC State, Duke. Duke has to win, right? NC- yeah, they have to. <laughs> they have to. I think, uh, so what? What about this is that the final four? Or that the Elite Eight? I think it's the Elite Eight. Elite Eight. I just know that the 11th has never made it. No 11 seed has ever made it the to four. the... Uh, no, not, not the final four. The championship. Oh, the championship. So I don't... The final four? I don't know. I was reading stuff, you know. See ya.